the very thought of god occurred to you only because you saw creation isn't it when you were born and you opened your eyes you looked around so much creation before you came here so much has happened obviously you did not create it so you thought there must be a creator this is how you come to the creator isn't it the moment you thought there must be a creator because you are in a human form you thought it must be a big man a small man like me cannot do all this it must be a big man just two hands how can it do so much creation must be eight hands isn't it <laughs> isn't it so if you were a buffalo you would be really thinking god is a huge buffalo <laughs> isn't it so see when man was the most powerful force on the planet man was naturally god now women are also gaining in their power so women are questioning why why can't it be a woman so tomorrow suppose dogs gain lot of power which they're gaining so dogs will ask why not a dog god actually the spelling also is close you know <laughs> so your idea of god is just an ex an exaggerated version of yourself isn't it whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about god is just pure nonsense cultural nonsense depending upon which kind of culture you are in that kind of god you have isn't it do you consider yourself um, a god my god <laughs> there is no god so how can i consider myself a god God is the greatest lie invented by man. Why? Because man feels so helpless, so afraid of death, so burdened with life's problems. And because he has been raised by a father by a mother and those were the beautiful days no responsibility no worry somebody was taking care of him that psychological childhood is projected into all the religions god becomes the father and there are few religions in which god becomes the mother it is a simple psychological projection of a child it has no basis in reality and whenever you are afraid whenever you are in trouble you start seeking help no help ever comes even jesus on the cross was waiting for the help to come and finally god disappointed and shouted father have you forsaken me a great doubt must have arisen in him a great question nothing is happening and he was believing all these years that god will come to save him his only begotten son nobody came Jesus Christ must have died in utter disillusionment. I don't have any illusion. I cannot be disillusioned.